Oh man, it's so freaking dark. Holy crap. Alright, Lemon Beetle, let's uh go find a campfire. Uh all right. oh okay, well that's pretty quick. Um What? What is that? Oh no, is that a sight ward? What? This is Cube World, not League of Legends? Uh yeah. So guys yeah. Anyways, uh, this is actually a candle that I have remodeled. Remodeled? Why did I say that weird? Remodeled into a sight ward, a pink sight ward to be specific. If you know what that is, then you should know about League of Legends. Uh, anyways, I want to show you how to remodel a. I want to show you how to remodel anything into anything that you want. Uh, whatever you want, however you want. Uh, I did just decided to remodel the candle into a sight ward because that just makes sense. Because sight wards gives uh, vision on the map. So yeah, so this is gonna be a tutorial on how to do just that, how to remodel, and yeah. So I guess let's just get right into it. All right. So. In order to uh, in order to remodel the candle or whatever you want to remodel, what you want to do is go to these three links. They will be in the description, and go ahead and download. So uh, download CW Launcher. Uh, keep download the Asset Browser and download CWME. The current build is now uh, right now is 0 0.0.3 and download that. And once you have that, you will have these three files: CWME, CW Launcher, and Asset Browser. What you want to do is go ahead and make a model folder so you can uh, edit all the models that you want. Uh, you'll get you'll get these files later I'll show you how and go ahead and unzip the asset browser and CWME and you will get asset browser folder CWME application the data and that's it yeah you also want to go ahead and open your cube world folder in your programs file was my phone Anyways, I want you to put the CW launcher into the Cube World file folder, excuse me, and go ahead and run it. You will get a CW launcher folder. There it is. And this will pop up. We can just go ahead and put this off to the side or, or close it. And all right, so since you unzipped the asset browser and CWME, Go ahead and open up the Asset Browser folder. Click the or run the application for Asset Browser. You will get this new window which shows nothing, but there's a file button over here. Click that and then click Open, and just go ahead and click OK because it's already selected on the Cube World folder. If you don't believe me, I will show you that I am not lying. And bam, Cube World. There's nothing inappropriate on my folder. So yeah, stop looking. Don't pause the video and look. Anyways, uh, here's all the folders, or no, here's all the uh, files of the Cube World. Anyways, so I want to go ahead and edit, find the candle. So C A N D, and there's candle, candle O one, two, and three. So what you want to do is right click the file that you want to. Uh, change or you can you know upgrade uh, change the campfire whatever you want and then airship and galpaca but for now I want to do the candle so right click extract and put that into your folder uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show you this I could replace this candle OG for originality I guess I don't know yes replace all right, so uh, you can also do multiple. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. This goes for any other uh, file. 
So go ahead and close that and go back to your CWME application folder or where you ever, wherever you put it and go ahead and run that. Now you'll get a blank grid. You can use middle mouse button to rotate and this is where you build whatever you want to build. Alright, so the default color is white. Left clicking uh, places blocks as you can see what I'm doing and right clicking removes the blocks. That's, that's pretty much it. Simple as that. And there is a limit over here, so I'm clicking on the edge of this block and it's not building uh, outside of this gray area, and there is a height limit. But in order to get rid of that, you go to Options, uh, go to Toggle Grid Extend, and now you get this red grid and you can build outside the, uh, build outside higher and further, and build whatever your mind it wants you to build and that's, yeah, it looks like a dragon. Yeah, you can see a dragon. Yeah. Alright. Anyways, new. And so just to get a little bit more of the basics, I guess brush color, you know, do whatever, brush color. You could also put it here, add custom color so you have it here instead of trying to get the same color all the time and get more colors, I guess. I don't know. More colors set color and the brush color is just does what it does pink uh, brush color whatever color this is gray I guess I don't know anyways uh, get back on track Electromite so this is the original that's right cuz I opened okay so this is the So this is what the model looks like. And then you can just like change it to however you want it or you know, uh build it from the ground up and then replace the file. And so yeah, this is uh the final product of what the or what I made for the ward. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to green. So you guys can see the change. I need green. Give me a good green. Green, add to color. And a little bit brighter green because of the shade. And go ahead, change this green or pink into green. Right click removes, like I said. And put that there. And I kind of want to put a little more I guess so I guess like that yeah and then just do the same thing on this side yeah it's gonna look weird and then go to options go to the lighter green color that I have selected and replace this and green and I guess I could, oh no, I could change this to green. Yeah? Alright. Good enough. Good enough. And then save this. Save, replace the original file, uh, overwrite it, save, and go ahead and close that. Now that you have that here, I, I can delete these two. This is the one that I edited. So after you place the CW launcher into your cube world folder, go ahead and launch it back up. And it stopped working. Great. Uh let's launch it back up. Anyways, what you want to do is go ahead and the new folder that you have CW launcher, open that up. Yeah, you don't want to touch that. You see that all in caps, do not touch. Touch. Uh, on skins, you'll see skins folder, open that up. Right click, new folder, and go ahead and name it to like, whatever you want, Electros, Electromites Pack, or whatever, or Candle Replacement. But if you're gonna like, have a multiple files replaced, you can just plop them all in here. 
So once you have the folder in here, open that up and move the candle or no copy it, I guess, into the new folder, skins folder, and close that and the files in there. Now now that you have that file in there, go ahead and click reload skin list and the folder candle replacement shows up in here. Highlight that and click the right arrow to move it over here. Now click the skins, uh, the skin button. This may take a while. Yes, it will take a while, but you will get through it. It will be worth it. And what this is going to do is that it's going to update all the skins, even the ones that you haven't uh, touched or or um, changed. It's going to go through every single skin, every single model, I guess, and update it, even the one that you placed, or I did. And so you'll see that here, it's in the C's, and there it is, Candle 01. So it's going to go through everything all the way to the Z's, from A to Z, and you're just going to have to wait, and wait till it's done. So, yeah. I'll get back to you with that. All right. Uh, okay. So after the long duration of waiting, you'll get skinning complete. So go ahead and click OK, and then click play. And Cube World, Cube World will launch. And there it is. Start game. Select character. Uh, go to the world with the ward the candle aka ward I guess so it was purple at the very beginning and now it should be green and it says please wait we are waiting still waiting and there it is and now it is green and it has uh, it has a little dome at the top as you can see pick it up it re removes light and there it is so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, hopefully short tutorial let me put, throw this down need a light and I hope you en uh, enjoyed I hope you learned a little something I hope this tutorial actually helped if I missed anything let me know if I could do anything better let me know and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed I look forward to actually making uh, more things, uh, something like this, I guess. But yeah, thanks uh, for watching. See ya. Oh, thanks. All right. Oh, I don't want to sleep. Uh, zombie. Maybe breaking down the door wasn't a good idea. Or breaking down the wall. There's a button on the outside. So there.